waiting this week, wondering what I've been up to. I've been trying to convince you that I've got something new and exciting to present. But before we get to that, I just thought I would take another opportunity. Everybody's really been enjoying all the educational programs I've been doing this year. Uh, so I thought I'd take a couple of minutes and show you another little tip that you can use to help you with your training and dressage, whether you're out shopping for a horse or whether you're thinking about breeding horses. So I don't have my horse costume with me today. I'm sorry, I left it at home, but we have this volunteer horse here today that um, is gonna do the job for us. So we've taken her and commenting. we've put some Cabot lines on her on to show camera. you some confirmation points that um, are important with the horse, the dressage horse. So first we're gonna start with the front of the horse. We've got this line here, this is the horse's shoulder, going from the point of the shoulder up to the highest point of her withers. This is Juno, by the way, she's beautiful, isn't she? Then we take another line, from the middle of this line, we go 90 degrees out, and ideally we would like this line to go up to the bull, Hers lands just slightly behind the bull, so it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. And then we also take this line and run down to the elbow. This angle right here, this horse has a really good shoulder and, and upper arm. This angle here is perfect, almost perfectly 90 degrees. And the other thing that we like is the length of her upper arm is about half of the length of her shoulder, which is gonna mean this horse is gonna have good shoulder breathing. Then we come back here, and this is called the horse's hindquarter triangle. And this is a very important um, point for the horse in dressage because this is what creates all the power for all the things that we like to do when we're doing dressage. So we draw, take a line from the point of the hip back to the point of the buttocks and then down to the stifle and back up. For a dressage horse, ideally, we want this triangle to be an isosceles triangle, where this length is about 10% shorter than these two lengths, which ideally we would have equal to each other. And this horse has a pretty darn good isosceles triangle. It's almost exactly what we want. So now we're gonna watch this horse walk and trot so you can see those lines when the horse is moving. So if the camera can follow the horse, we're gonna have her walk. And you can see how the, those parts of the horse's body move as she's moving. So there you get a better idea of how the forearm and the shoulder interact with each other and how the neck plays its role. And then if we can have you come back this way, this is my helper, Kyle, and horse, the horse's name is Juno. She's a beautiful horse. Very spectacular example for us today. And now we're gonna have them trot for us so that you can also see those lines while the horse is trotting. So now we'll come and we'll pick up the trot and you can watch these parts of the horse's body here and how they are in movement. Maybe. <laughs> Give her one more shot. Juno didn't know she was gonna be doing this, by the way, today, so she's a, she's a good uh, volunteer. There we go, and you can see how big, with the neck, as she gets some more momentum, how that neck will be able to act as a sail for this horse versus an anchor, which we would not want for a dressage horse. So again, if you can bring the horse back so we can see the side with the tape again, so everybody can have one more good look at her. This horse is a nice example of some, some confirmation attributes that will be really good if for a dressage horse. So I just wanted to come on and give you another little tip today. I plan to continue to do this because I've gotten lots of good feedback and everybody has really enjoyed my canning around the deck in my horse costume and bouncing around on the yoga ball and now today we're picking up this dear horse that's willing to let us do that. So I appreciate that. Um, one of the days while I was cantering around on my deck, it dawned on me that we really do need to use the online platform 
platform for more education in the situation we're in today with the world traveling is curtailed, symposiums can get their limited or not even possible, people can't leave home in times. So it just dawned on me on one of my scanner routines down my deck that we need to use the online platform. So I'm really excited today to announce to everybody my big announcement for the week is that I decided because of that, that I wanted to create an opportunity for people to where they can learn at home, in their time, in their space, when it's convenient for you, no matter where you are in the world. You can do this anywhere in the world. And so I'm very excited today to announce my development of the Y Dressage Academy. And the first course, in the Academy will be starting in January. It's an online course. And if you go to Y Dressage Academy, W-Y, like my last name, Dressage Academy, you can see all the information and details of the course and sign up now. Um, there's an introductory um, sign up at this point so you can be ready to go on January 1st when we get started. The first course name is called Why Confirmation and Movement Matter When Buying, Reading, or Training a Dressage Horse. So what I want to do is give you, this is just the beginning of the tools I want to give you so that when you're out shopping for a horse or you're thinking about breeding a horse or looking for a stallion for your mare or looking at babies to buy a baby, or if you're training your horse at home, like this nice, beautiful young mare, that you have more tools in your toolbox that if something's not working, that you can maybe look at the confirmation and realize that the issue might be a confirmational issue and how you can adjust your training to help that horse with areas where they might be weak to help develop it more to where they can do the sport because they don't all have to have the perfect confirmation to be able to do this sport. There's very few horses that are perfect. And sometimes the ones with perfect confirmation don't do the sport. So I'm really looking forward to this. I can't wait to help you out with this. It's gonna be a 10 week course for the first one. And there will be Q&A uh, in the middle and at the end, so you'll also be able to ask your questions regarding your situation so that you can get feedback to help you. And so I welcome you to join, go to the, the website, ywydressageacademy.com, and sign up now, and we'll get started the 1st of January. And thanks for joining me today. It's been really great, and I look forward to seeing you. Have a great one, everybody.